Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Riches with your girl Delshad. I'm here to tell you why you should care about some stuff. If you've been hearing a lot about Polygon and thinking, what even is this thing? Why should I even care about it? Well, I'm here to tell you why. And it's not as complicated as it sounds, I promise. If you know about Ethereum, you know that it's like the backbone of crypto when it comes to smart contracts and applications. If crypto was a city, Ethereum would be its thriving downtown. But even the best neighborhoods have their quirks, you know? Ethereum can be a bit slow processing around 30 transactions per second. Comparing that to networks like Solana, which can handle up to 65,000 transactions per second, it's like Ethereum's taking a steady jog while Solana is like sprinting. And then there's the cost. Ethereum fees also known as gas fees can sometimes get a little too expensive imagine trying to send someone a dollar and the network charges you 20 bucks just to make that happen it's not ideal but hey every system has its growing pains and now let me get back to why you should care about polygon you can thank me later polygon is not trying to replace ethereum it's more like a sidekick helping ethereum work better it's like creating side roads to handle transactions so instead of waiting in line on the ethereum main highway you can hop on to these side roads also known as side chains get your transactions done fast for cheap and still end up in the same place. It's genius. Polygon's most famous feature is its proof of stake chain. It's a side chain that lets you make transactions super quickly and for a fraction of the cost. And then there's the layer two scaling part. This is basically Polygon grouping a bunch of transactions together, bundling them up and sending them back to Ethereum as one big snapshot. This way, Ethereum doesn't get overloaded and everything runs smoother. But there is more to Polygon than that. It's all also working on things like ZK rollups and optimistic rollups. These are fancy terms, but all you really need to know is they're just more ways to make Ethereum faster and cheaper. Now, if all that techie stuff sounds overwhelming, don't worry. The takeaway is simple. Polygon makes Ethereum faster, cheaper, and way more flexible. Everybody wins. I also want to tell you about Matic, which is Polygon's token. There are 10 billion Matic tokens in total, and about 6.8 billion are already out there. It's trading around $2 right now. And listen to this. They're planning to burn transaction fees. This means the number of Matic tokens will shrink over time, which could drive up the price as demand grows. Fewer tokens equals more valuable tokens. It's simple math. Oh, and one last thing. They're also rolling out something called EIP-1559. EIP stands for Ethereum Improvement Proposal. It's a fancy update that'll make Matic a decreasing token. Basically, it's designed to burn more tokens than are being created. And thinking about it long term, that could be a big deal for Matic's price. To wrap it all up for you guys, Polygon is like Ethereum's smarter, faster, best friend. It keeps all the good stuff about Ethereum, but makes it way easier and cheaper to use. If you're new to crypto or just tired of high fees, Polygon might be the way to go for you. Let me know if you've got any questions or want me to dig into any of this more. It's not as scary as it sounds once you break it down. Agree? Do you agree? All right, crypto fam, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to always do your own research. And as always, may your wallets be full and your trades be smooth. See you in the next video. Have a good one.